So the assembly environment in Inventor 2017 hasn't received that many updates. But there's a couple key ones that are important to point out. The first one is that we can now finally make components transparent. So I'm gonna take this pump case here, I'm gonna right click on it. From the right click option, I'm gonna pick transparent. And notice that I'm actually able now to see through the component, even though it's transparent, I can still select it. So it's similar to the enabled disabled, except that it's still selectable. So the only difference here is that I can see through it. Now a key feature to working with this is making sure that you have edge options turned on in your display. So in the application options on the display tab, notice I've got display edges turned on. If I don't, and I click OK, notice that you can't see the component at all because it is transparent. You can see through it. So the edges are important to, to work with. So I'm just gonna right click on here again and I'm just gonna turn the transparency off. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double click on this component and I'm going to create a sketch. I'm gonna create a sketch on this face. And what I wanna do is I want to start working with some of the other edges here. So what I wanna do, and it's kind of faint here, but I'm gonna project, and I'm gonna project a couple edges here. So I'm gonna select that, I'm gonna select that, and I'm gonna select that one. So apologize, but the presentation background here is a little bit tough to see. Now what we can see is that it's actually created that sketch and it's projected that geometry. Now one thing that's new is that in 2017, We've now got different icons to help us identify you know, what actually was projected. In this case, it was all edges and a face, but we'll also see different icons for loops, um, sketch geometry, and drawing geometry, so AutoCAD geometry that we've imported. So different icons that kind of help you identify what's going on. So I'm going to click Finish to this, and I'm going to return to the assembly level. And notice that from the assembly level, I can right click on it and I can actually break links and turn the adaptivity on or off from the assembly level. So no longer do I have to drill all the way into that part to you know, break that relationship, to turn that adaptivity off. I can actually do that directly from the assembly level. The last thing we can do with cross-references is notice that I can open the reference directly from the browser as well. So it's actually open the model that's driving that relationship. So this is the component that I projected geometry from. So no longer do you have to kind of guess, you know, where did that come from? What do I need to modify? It's a simple right click and you can open it from there. So again, not a, a lot of enhancements. These are kind of my, my favorites or what I think are kind of the more important ones. Um, and that's, you know, the assembly environment within Inventor 2017.